guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is all about supplements, specifically the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster Beauty Supplement. I know it's been a while since I started taking them, but I wanted to make sure I gave it a good go and really put my thoughts together before telling you guys about it. Halo Beauty. I'm going to start with my Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster review and then I'm going to move into some of the other supplements I take on a daily basis. Before we get started, please, please be advised if you are embarking on a supplement journey or you want to try a supplement and you're pregnant or have pre-existing conditions or you're just curious and you've never taken supplements before, please talk to your doctor or your healthcare provider. I always bring my bottles of supplements to my doctors if I have any questions about them. Um, they tell me about things I should be aware of because of my pre-existing conditions. Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster. This is what it says it does online. It's supposed to minimize fine lines and wrinkles, supports collagen and keratin production, supports clear and radiant complexion, supports a natural moisture barrier for hydrated skin, inhibits bacteria, balances pH, and renews the skin. How I took the supplement. Only taken the Kiwi Seed Booster from Halo Beauty. I have not taken the original one. I took it at night after dinner. I took it for two months straight without missing a single pill. And then I took a month off to see how I felt my skin started to behave off of it. And then I went back on it. My official thoughts on the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster Supplement. I like that it's sugar free, especially since I embarked on a ketogenic diet towards the last half of 2018. And even though I'm not always keto, I'm very highly aware of my sugar consumption. And in the past, I liked gummy vitamins and I liked vitamins that taste like candy. But realizing how much sugar and how quickly you can consume sugar, I really appreciate that it's sugar free because I don't want my vitamins to be where I get my sugar. I rather like eat sugar for joy and pleasure. I really like the bottles. These were really pretty. I liked having it on my nightstand, which helped me remember to take it. I did notice that my skin became brighter, clearer, and more hydrated while taking the Kiwi Seed Booster. Biggest difference though I noticed was that the comments on Instagram and on my videos where you guys said my skin just looked amazing. I can attribute it to a lot of things, but when I noticed more of those comments, it was also when I was taking the Kiwi Seed Booster. Do I think all of the brightness to my skin was attributed to just the Kiwi Seed Booster from Halo Beauty? I have to be honest, I don't have a lot of skin issues to begin with. I'm not someone who deals with acne. I'm not someone who deals with a lot of inflammation noticeable on my skin. I, for the most part, have really good skin to begin with. It wasn't like this life-changing, life-altering difference. I already take really good care of my skin between just trying to be healthy overall, drinking a lot of water, getting enough sleep, as well as a really vigorous skincare routine. Now, during the time that I started taking the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster was also the time when I went on a ketogenic diet, which meant I eliminated sugars, a lot of things that would spike my insulin and a lot of things that cause inflammation in my body. I don't think it's a coincidence that by eliminating sugar and inflammatory foods and increasing my hydration, plus taking the booster, that my skin was looking its best it's ever looked. The biggest issue I had before was just wanting to maintain my skin health, meaning I'm aging, I'm in my 30s, I want my skin to be as tight and firm as possible. I also want to keep my skin hydrated. I do suffer from dry patches. Now my skin is actually very oily and combination, so the reason I get dryness is usually surface dehydration. While I was on Halo Beauty, I did notice that my skin was a lot plumper and hydrated in general, but I also was eating less inflammatory foods and still am eating less inflammatory foods. Now, when I went off of Halo Beauty, I did notice that my skin was a little bit drier than when I was on Halo Beauty. When I was on Halo Beauty, I definitely noticed that I was not as like surface dehydrated, but when I went off of it, I did notice some of that coming back. I would say that Halo definitely helped me with 
with some of my skin goals of keeping my skin balanced, hydrated, um, a proper pH level, and also it helped with some of the inflammation. But again, I was on a different diet and still am on a different diet where I don't eat a lot of inflammatory foods, specifically sugar. So that really does help overall with my body as well as with my skin. Final thoughts on Halo Beauty. I think it is a good booster for your skin if you can afford it and remember to take it. Well, I don't believe you can take one supplement to fix all of your skincare problems. I do believe that health, wellness, and skin especially requires work on all aspects of your life. That means you need to avoid inflammatory foods like dairy and sugar. You should drink a ton of water. For me, it's for me, it's at least two full bottles of my Hydro Flask, which is 32 ounces. I drink at least two a day. And if I'm working out or if it's extra hot or if I'm stressed, I have to drink three of these. Get plenty of sleep. Now that differs from person to person and a lot of it is out of our control at times, but I do try to catch up on my sleep. I do try to sleep at least seven to eight hours a night. And sometimes it doesn't happen, but you can definitely start to see it on my skin and in my body and in my mood if I go too long without getting enough sleep. Have a good skincare routine. It doesn't have to be extravagant, it doesn't have to be expensive, but it has to be right for your skincare needs. You have to be healthy on the inside for healthy skin on the outside. I truly believe that. Do I recommend Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster? Yes, if you want to take a skincare supplement and you want to do that extra boost for your skincare needs, then yes. There's nothing wrong with taking a supplement. I think by taking Kiwi Seed Booster, it definitely helps my skin's recovery and ability to fight off environmental stressors, and it did help with my hydration levels. But you have to remember, you cannot just take a supplement to, and assume that it's gonna be this miracle drug. It's not, you have to be kind of all-encompassing when you're taking your supplements. And not just with Halo Beauty, I believe this with all supplements. I do think there are other supplements you need to also take or prioritize over a beauty supplement. For example, a multivitamin is incredibly important, but if you've already got a good multivitamin and you've already got a good dietary supplement based on what your body needs, then and you wanna add a beauty supplement, then of course, go ahead. Will I continue to take the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster? Yes, of course. Is it something that if I run out, I immediately have to go and make sure I have like three backups of? Not necessarily. Um, I'm okay with running out and skipping a couple weeks and then repurchasing it and having the chance to take it more often. I do think that when you take it consistently, you notice the most difference. I mentioned before between my diet and my skincare habits, it's something that this is like, a it's like frosting on top of the cake. It's not something that I feel like is the core foundation of my good skin. Those are all of my thoughts on the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster. I do really enjoy it. I think it's a really good beauty supplement. I have taken a couple other beauty supplements in the past and out of all of the ones I've tried, I feel like the Kiwi Booster is the easiest to remember to take, the easiest to take, the one with the least amount of sugar or additives in it, actually there's no sugar or additives in it, one that I've noticed the most difference when taken consistently. I've tried taking a couple other ones where there's too many pills and it, honestly it wasn't easy for me to remember to take or I take some that were more like gummy bears and the sugar might have negated some of the benefits to them. I definitely feel like the Kiwi Booster is a lot more effective than some of the other ones I've tried on the market and the easiest for me to remember to take. It is $29.95 a bottle, so out of a lot of the other ones I've tried, it's also a lot more affordable. So here are also some of my other supplements that I take. I think it's really important to find yourself a good multivitamin, and I think I finally found my favorite multivitamin. One I am currently taking is from Ritual, not sponsored, but if you wanna sponsor me, Ritual, and you're watching, please sponsor me. I ordered this based on seeing it all over Instagram and social media, and I was very intrigued by it. Ordered it, I really enjoyed it, and I have my second bottle that I'm starting today. This is the essential prenatal vitamin. You get 60 vegetarian capsules. You take two a day with or without food. I like this a lot because one, the brand is incredibly full disclosure. A lot of the times in our vitamins, especially women's vitamins, they hide a lot of stuff and they don't really tell you where things are sourced or what's in it really. There's no additives or sugars because I've spent way more on my multivitamins. I've also spent less, but this is like a good middle ground for me. I like it that it auto delivers 
so I don't have to remember to replenish. I also like it because I know it's auto delivering, I'm way better at taking it every night because I don't want to have like a bunch of vitamins stacked up in my shelf. I like the efficacy of the brand. I think it's really pretty as well. I thought that the packaging was very sleek as well as the fact that these vitamins are just really gorgeous. They're like, they're really pretty. I like taking them. It matters to me, I guess. They're sugar-free and they smell like lemons. I thought that was awesome because I would open it up and it smelled like lemons, which I enjoyed and it made taking them a lot easier. If you guys are wondering why I take prenatal vitamins versus just regular multivitamins, my OBGYN actually tells me to take prenatal vitamins because if you are thinking about getting pregnant or in the process of getting pregnant or potentially could get pregnant, you should be taking prenatal vitamins from her opinion. Not that Chris and I are currently trying, but if we do decide to try, you should be taking prenatals like anywhere. I think she said it takes three months for the folic acid to be in your system for it to be effective for the baby. So she just recommended that I take prenatal vitamins. She's recommended I take prenatal vitamins for years now. So that's what I reach for if I'm gonna be buying a multivitamin. If you don't want the prenatal, Ritual does have a regular one as well for women. This is something that I cannot go a day without is my Mondo. This is my CBD that I microdose with. This is full spectrum hemp derived CBD. It comes in a powder form and Chris puts it in my coffee every morning. If Chris isn't making my coffee, I put it in my coffee every morning. Each bottle does come with a five milligram scooper so you know that you're measuring out five milligrams and it also comes with a travel tin. This has been incredibly life-changing for myself as well as for my relationship. Loved it so much that we carry it in our shop. Chris and I started a CBD shop. I don't go a day without it. And there was a time when we couldn't get a hold of it for um, a little over a month. And I did use other CBD products, but honestly, Mondo is the best for me for helping with my anxiety and my depression. It's also just me completely balanced me out emotionally and mentally to a point where my relationship is not suffering anymore because of the stuff that I deal with. While I personally take CBD to help manage my anxiety and depression, it is also good for inflammation and pain as well as overall homeostasis in your body. A lot of people take Mondo for different reasons. I take it for anxiety and depression and stress management. Um, Chris takes it for overall homeostasis and back pain. And then I know some people actually purchase Mondo for managing their migraines and headaches that they get every day. So that's something that I take every day along with my multivitamins. And those two things are at the top of my priority in terms of supplements. It's my multivitamins and Mondo. And honestly, Mondo is a little bit above my multivitamin. I'm more willing to run out of my multivitamin than I am with my Mondo. Another supplement I take pretty frequently is my apple cider vinegar. This I bought at Costco. This is organic apple cider vinegar. Vinegar. It's a little bit more expensive than getting like a bottle of uh, apple cider vinegar, but I can't take those shots. I know people make all these different juices or shots that they just down every morning. I cannot do it. I gag. I throw up every time. So this is a little more expensive, but it's worth it to me because I can actually get it down. Apple cider vinegar has a lot, a lot of benefits. Um, I personally take it for helping with digestion and heartburn. Um, I don't have a lot of heartburn, but it could be because I take apple cider vinegar. It's known to lower your risk for heart disease, help with weight loss, absorb more of your nutri nutrients from your food, lower the risk of heartburn, balance your body's pH levels, and offer more energy. It also helps with fresher breath. There's just like a list, a list of all the benefits of apple cider vinegar. So I just take two a day around lunchtime, after lunch, or before dinner. This bottle does last me quite a long time, and I really like it. I, I find that it's not something I have to have in my supplement routine, but something I do enjoy and notice the benefits when I do have it. And the final supplement I have to talk to you guys about, this is relatively new to me, so I don't know that it's that big of a difference, but I typically like to incorporate something that helps manage stress. For me, that's some sort of an adaptogen or some sort of a energy booster. This is what I'm currently testing out. It's from Moon Juice and it's called the Super U. This is $49 a bottle. It's a clinical strength blend of four potent adaptogen herbs shown to reduce the signs and effects of stress and improve energy, mood, focus, and beauty. I live an incredibly stressful life. I'm a stressful person. Obviously, Mondo that I mentioned helps me with a lot of it. Before I started taking a CBD product, 
um, to help with my anxiety and depression, I started taking adaptogens. And adaptogens just help your body fight off the stress that you do experience. And since a lot of us live a very stressful lifestyle these days, I encourage you to look into adaptogens. Chronic stress impacts everything from our energy to our sleep, skin, and libido. These potent allies work by helping regulate cortisol, which is the stress hormone that is produced when you are stressed, and balance the stress response systems to improve your mood, boost your immunity, reduce fatigue, and so much more. Not something that I would say like if you are on a budget and you can barely afford your other supplements that you need to get this. This is something that I am very lucky that I get to incorporate into my supplement routine because I just think it's not one thing that is an answer. You want to have a nice routine that includes diet, hydration, exercise, sleep, supplements, and um, whatever makes you feel more balanced. In conclusion, I think it's important for you to take a multivitamin. You can talk to your doctors about that. I have always grown up taking a multivitamin. Now, were they the healthiest? No, because I used to take the Flintstones vitamins, and then I took the gummies, and then I took those chocolatey vitamins for calcium. So as I have like learned more, I want less sugar and additives and crap in my vitamins, but I've always believed in taking a multivitamin, and I grew up with supplements. My mom was always like looking for the newest supplement. I truly do believe that we, for the most part, are not able to get everything we need in our daily diet. I think it's a full-time job to eat a perfect diet. I think that our food isn't as nutrient dense as it used to be 50 years ago. The apple that we eat today is not as nutritious as the apple we had 50 years ago, which is why we have to eat more health healthy organic foods and why we might need more supplements to help get some of the things that we lose in our natural food source. Please, please talk to your doctors about your supplement intake disclose all of it. Like when I go see my doctors every year or every six months, I tell them everything I take, including my CBD intake, including my adaptogens, including all of like my beauty vitamins, because you never know what could interact with your medication, especially if you have a pre-existing condition or something that you're monitoring. For me, um, I'm always very aware of what is happening with my liver. And for the weirdest thing, um, my doctor was like, you cannot take a green tea supplement. You can drink green tea, but you cannot take a green tea supplement in a capsule. And I was like, really? I'm not, but really? And he's like, yes, for whatever reason, it affects your liver and it can mess with its natural functions for people who are pre-conditioned to have liver function issues. And that's something that like I would never have thought of, but this is why you have to have a conversation with your doctor over everything you're taking. Do your own research. There's always gonna be negatives and positives with every supplement. And if you are looking for the negatives, you'll find them. If you're looking for the positives, you'll find them. So my biggest advice with that is do as much research and ask for as much advice as possible from professionals and then make a decision for yourself and your family after that. Just be open-minded because if you're looking for those negatives, you will find them. And if you're looking for the positives, you will. So try to take everything with a grain of salt and know at the end of the day, it's going to be about your diet and your nutrition, your sleep, and your just overall stress. Drink a lot of water, get plenty of sleep, eat whole foods, whole foods, guys whole foods, like foods that come actually as is. Have your treats as well, but just live a balanced life as much as possible. So thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Don't forget to check back for three new videos a week every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for my weekly vlogs. And don't forget, Chris and I also have our second channel, Serene and Chris, go check that out. We're gonna do a video of um, assumptions about us. We're actually gonna film that next. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys right back here on Friday. Bye!